so that was a really fun experience. Like, it was, it was a very complete project, and I really appreciate some of the attention details, like the transition screens and things like that. Um, just like so many little things that y'all thought of. Um, it was really great. I don't, I don't even know if I can think of a big critique on this one. There's some like logicals that would like get infinite gold, but like um, my first experience was I immediately left and went to the desert to so just kind of walking and got immediately transferred to Scorpion. Um, I was like, all right, I'll try it again. But, um, but like, just seeing how much was there, uh, I was just really impressed with the amount of content and it all felt like it was done to the same level. Um, so, good job. Yeah, I agree. Uh, this is a great experience and I thought for the genre of the game that you chose, it matched the theme that was handed, which is habits and rituals. And I also thought it was a great choice to make your profession a bounty hunter, right? As opposed to maybe some kid called to action, right? Like your job is to really go out there, kill some stuff, get some coin, do it again. And uh, that all was threaded nicely throughout. Um, the, the art is so cute and it's a great callback to the old um, style of game. Uh, the music was well done. All that stuff just added to the experience. Uh, I have, there was a great sense of progression, you know, uh, kill the slimes, I did that. I was doing that for so long to finally uh, defeat the, the uh, giant tree, and I was impressed that he almost did without even having to level up. It's wild. Uh, so, yeah, I think, I think the, the, the biggest sticking point for me was having, to, I know that you kept your items, but I'm pretty sure my experience restarted between plays. Uh, I think, you know, from a player's perspective, that's a big one, just so that I don't have to start all over and continue the experience. But even from just a developer standpoint, if you're testing something or bugging something, you having to start all over just to get back to a point would be really frustrating. So I think that's just a good, good lesson for our uh, Yeah, great job with the world building. Um, I did notice like the subtle things, like different music for the bosses versus the slimes different music for each of like the, the, the zones, so that really helps build out those world. Uh, art was like really, really cohesive, like across the whole game. Um, like like the things that like we're looking for, like they're like little things. So um, some type of like damage modifier or like to let you know you miss. Like when the train misses you, you should know like, oh, I'm saved. As opposed to like right now it looks like um, you know it missed because you didn't die, but you didn't know really why it missed. So like little things like that, but then I did notice, you know, hey, you've got the little icons above each of the creatures to show like which debuffs they have. And those are just like nice little polished touches. And I think the um, the one only little thing right at the beginning, if you didn't interact with the note about like, hey, I don't have any bounties for the day, like that would have been nice if it was just like loaded and like your player character has like kind of like a thoughtful like, hey, I should go check the bounty board. And that makes it like your first kind of instructional thing for players and like what to do. Um, in the absence of instruction, sometimes players will just they'll leave the house and like, wait, what am I doing out here? So sometimes you have to be a little bit more like direct in those things if there's much time to do. Uh, but it was a really, really great like demo and just kind of like burn his slice the whole thing. I think you guys have a lot going on. You made a lot of systems. You made an entire world. You made lore. You essentially made everything that this game would need to be complete. Um, I think one of the things that I was having the hardest time with was actually just how distracting some of the backgrounds could be. I get that the texture is supposed to like break it up and make it interesting, but sometimes it got so textured that like it was just kind of hard to look at, or I couldn't see the debuff icons because what was going on behind it was too distracting. Um, but I just want to understand why you might have done that. Um, I also want to say that um, when you're in the boss fight, you can see the like little lodge in the background that is a very good little Easter egg about just like putting you in the world and making sure that you can tell exactly where you are. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys put a lot of work into this. It's really cool. Thank you.